Welcome to the French Drain Man channel. I'm Robert Sherwood. I wanted to put together a complete video on roof runoff. The roof runoff is so important. Most water problems around the Homes Foundation is because people did not handle that properly. Sadly, at Home Depot, they're just giving you a 10-foot piece, and this is, you know, subconsciously, it's got everybody, all the homeowners, all the DIYers, the contractors, wired that 10 feet is what it should be. And you, you have to get further away from the house than 10 feet. Always make sure that you take your run as far away from the home's foundation as you possibly can within reason. We took all of these downspouts, we took them until we hit utilities and couldn't go any farther. Sometimes utilities will dictate how far you're going to be able to go with your run of your downspout system. So we have some really big, you know, 12 inch round basins. And you're going to see that in more and more of our videos. I do have so much older media and there's going to be more older media that I have to still edit. We have just, I'm telling you, hundreds of jobs that I have to go through edit video. But we are now using 12 inch round uh, grates because it gives you more area so the grass can't grow over top of it because believe it or not i'm finding out that pop-ups are the worst for that and the six inch round speedy basins that are ever so popular the grass can grow over them so quickly and then the homeowner life happens forgets you know all about it you know can't remember where it's discharging at and next thing you know their gutters are overflowing with water and it's pouring water right next to the foundation of the house so we're taking these out quite far Believe it or not, these were ran 10 feet and they were in the landscape bed and they were causing so much trouble for the homeowner. So, you know, the guys are pretty strong, but I asked Valentine to do this with a 90 because if you're a DIYer and you want something that's a little easier to work with than trying to make that bend with the high octane yard drain pipe, I understand, you know, it. these guys work with this stuff all the time. So he went ahead and he taped up 90s. Just make sure that you put a lot of tape on the 90 because you want to keep out all the roots, all the tree roots, all the shrub roots. That's very important. They can sniff out water and you don't want the roots to slow down your drainage. So to keep this working at its full, you know, optimal performance of, you know, install from the time that we install it till 10 years from now, here we are, you know, we're, we're putting our, our clean out on. We can run a camera through it if there's ever an issue. And right now, you know, we have this gutter adapter that's a two by three by four because that's the size, you know, gutters. There's two by three size downspouts on this house. So we're running this to a D box. Now, a D box stands, the D stands for distribution. We have two downspouts that are coming together at a D box. You can do that. You can run, you know, four downspouts to one D box. There's nothing wrong with that. We're going to go under the sidewalk just once. We're going to, you know, run the two to a D box, a distribution box, and then we're going to have the feeder line, you know, the main line. You know, we're going to have the main line underneath the walkway going out into the grass, and we're 25 feet away from this house. Ideally, I really like that distance. People say, can you just tell me how far to go? Because I'm digging in clay and it's really hard to dig. Well, you want to try to get beyond 20 feet because they have proven that through capillary action, water will make it to your foundation from up to 20 feet away. So just make sure that you're, you know, 20 plus feet away. That's it. Just you're going for that, you know. 22, 25 foot mark, that's what we shoot for. A lot of times utilities stop us a little short of that, but do your best. And again, the previous you know landscaper contractor that came here and did these downspouts, he was just dumping them 10 feet away from the foundation. The water couldn't get away from the house. I mean, this house seen a lot of abuse over the years due to a poor roof runoff system. So this is a solid yard drain pipe. We have the high octane royal blue, comes in solid or it comes in a French drain pipe, which is a very open inlet of eight slots per valley. And 
it takes in more water than any other pipe in the world. So we're using the solid on this job. This is a roof runoff. I always get people in the comment section saying, hey, where's the stone? Where's the drainage fabric? Hello, this is not a French drain, guys. This is a roof runoff system. All this pipe is solid. So that's what we're doing. We're teaching you how to do a complete roof runoff system. Homeowners, this is where you start. You might take care of your drainage problem right here. If you're just managing and directing your roof runoff properly responsibly you might be shocked your side of your yard might not need a french drain so in many 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 cases and i hate to you know talk my homeowners out of hiring me for stuff but in this case i said hey a roof runoff system is all you need i've seen it you know thousands of times not hundreds thousands of times so we did a complete roof runoff system and this job was done two months ago we've had some serious rain events the homeowner has reported back happy we fixed the problem just by running the downspouts you know responsibly far away so we had to cut the sprinkler lines and when you put the sprinkler lines back in leave extra so you can kind of hump them up and they're kind of like bowed so that the pipe slides under them really nice so there's some tips for contractors and homeowners so valentine you know he's trying to get this d box set perfect because he wants the water to flow he wants slope to the d box and then he wants slope out of the d box what's nice about the d box is you can have these higher cutouts and then for the main line out that's lower than the the two inlets from the downspouts so that's what he did you can see that box he he notched it out you know one notch is higher than the other and the low notch is for that main line right there that's carrying all that water look how far away from the house it is now did you see all the you know landscape that's in the way that dams water that was also happening the homeowner said our front walkway is always flooded after a rain well it's because the water can't get its you know can't find its way out of there you know after years and years and years of bark mulch decomposing de decomposition of bark mulch you end up with good you know organic material good topsoil on the beds but it does block the flow of surface water so sometimes you have to go in these older landscape beds and you gotta take out some of that de decomposed you know bark material get your bed back to where it'll let the water drain off of the walkway in this case we just ran the those downspouts you know well past the landscape treatment into the yard and now the water doesn't have to try to find its way down there so hopefully you guys are learning something from this video because that was the whole point I was just trying to put together a big roof runoff system showing you how serious we take it and believe it or not basement waterproofers hate videos like this and most of the basement waterproofers dislike our channel because we're kind of a whistleblower believe it or not most of the jobs that these guys get hired for for these interior basement water problems can be fixed with a roof runoff system no more water no more problem so start here this is your this is where you start and if you do have a bad area outside of your home and while you have an open trench we've shown you before how we do combo systems and we'll have a solid pipe in there and a French drain pipe in there. So these guys did a great job. You can see how they got dirt holding the pipe in place. So now you can take the machine and push the dirt over the pipe and not ruin the slope. Because if you don't do that, where you just put dirt every couple feet on the pipe to hold it in place, and you go ahead and push a bunch of dirt, you know, especially the heavy soil that don't drain well, it'll move that corrugated pipe around. Dirt will shift under the pipe, you'll lose your slope, and then you'll have a disruption in the flow of water. So these are all helpful hints. This is something that, you know, there's really no answer for. He's uh, Francisco's trying to pack this down the best he can. Now, it was really dry, We you know, summer drought, you know, super dry. This clay came out and it busted up, which is good because when clay has big air pockets, you end up with more settling, which causes saddling, where you get that dip like a horse saddle. And um, you get a call back if you're a contractor. And quite frankly, I mean, it just, you know, really dings you as a contractor to have to take your guys back there for that. So pack it down, do the best you can. So here's the final, guys. Check it out. I mean, we went as far as we could here, and we ran into so many utilities that, you know, without a vacuum excavator, which is a $1,500 
you know, service. And, you know, so this is within reason. This, I was real happy with this. These were the real problematic ones up here in the front. A lot of flooding, a lot of water damage, and uh, came out really nice. All right, everybody, until the next video.